hey, hey, how are y'all today? <laughs> Can you name this song for the static? <laughs> Classic Cindy Lauper. That is about 1986. Do y'all remember that one? <laughs> Listen, you are out and about with Tanny, coming along on my everyday life. I have to have a series name for this, maybe called Simplify, because what Christopher and I are thinking and looking into doing, we're not sure because what we're doing is weighing the options in our life. My number one thing that I want to be, to strive to be, is free. Do you know what I mean? Freedom in the financial realm as much as I can be on my tiny budget and with what I have to work with. Freedom from stuff. Freedom from thinking that wants to cram into my brain. Freedom to think and do what I want to do, you know? So, on that front, we are thinking about downsizing. Right now, I'm going to look at a home that is about 900 square feet. It's, it is older and it has new wiring, heat and air, new windows, new roof, and new plumbing. So it's got a lot of updates to it. Very, very affordable and not the worst part of town, okay? It's semi-safe around here. This is not far from my house. My house now is a little over 2,000 square feet and um, that's not even in yeah, it is. It's about 2,100 square feet, and Christopher and I probably live in 600 square feet of it. So, I got that house at a really, really, almost a steal, okay? They, they were already moved, and they had two houses here to sell, and um, a lot of updates have been done. So, really, I've gone in and done a lot of cosmetic things to make it, I think it would sell very quick. But, um, anyway, here we are. So, I just wanted y'all to see, and He's not here yet, so let me turn the camera around and y'all can see. See, there's a little house be beside it, and here's what it looks like. You see, it's just old and fixed up. Has some trees out back. I think the lot is very deep. It's it's on like I want to say an acre and a half of land, so it's it's all out back, which it's kind of good because you know what's already here. Um, A downfall I know is that over here is um, a fire department, so we know that that could be noisy, right? But big deal, that's not really a make or break for me. This is the back. The little house next door looks pretty good. There's just a two lane road in front of it and a giant field that's been over there. This is not far. Um, over there, beyond the fire department is, you can kind of see, I've taken y'all there to swing before, it's my old elementary school. It, it's right in that area right there beyond that chair. Anyway, so we're gonna see what it looks like in here. But it's all about choices, whether Christopher and I decide to do this or not. I love the fact of being, you know, I feel like I can just think. Think about my options and, um, here comes a realtor to let me in, so maybe I'll let y'all peek around in a second, okay? She seemed very sweet on the phone. The road is a little noisy, but not too bad. Anyway, we'll peek inside. See y'all in a minute. This is what could be a dining room or like an extra sitting room. Yeah. And this is just added on. Um, to the back. We'll go out there in a second, but these, these are the old windows. But it's got new windows, and this is a small bedroom in here, which is very small, but there's a closet allowance. That are, it's got new carpet and newer paint, new windows. Here's the kicker right here. It was built in the 30s, so the bathroom, watch your head, is really, really short and very basic. It has a new tub, looks like a fitted. Um, so, very basic and small. And this is like, let's see, this is where the back porch was added on right here. That's the slanted ceiling. And then it has a small little kitchen. 
which really is as big as mine actually, but all cabinets very similar to mine, you know, that you pretty much have to like beat shut, you know. <laughs> but the property next door, this was a mom and a child that lived side by side and so that one's gonna go on the market too and it's a little bit bigger. So anyway, then the bigger bedroom is up here in the front. Do y'all think this is interesting? And you see it has your old fireplace closed up. I had a hundred year old house at one point and it had those very same kind of features. But the board ceiling, but you can see it could be very cute. And then this is um, what would be like the family room. It is in fact 900 square feet, so, but you know, there's no like wasted hall space or really wasted space at all. This is what it looks like outside. Anyway, that's your grand tour. Okay, we left. So we went to look at the first possibility. And it's like I was telling Christopher, it's not whether we're gonna do that or not. It's just looking at the options, you know? The main problem with that house is, like I said, it was built in 1930, and so the bathroom is an add-on, and the tub, for example, when I stood up in there, it was only a couple of inches taller than my head, so it would be too short for Christopher, so I would have to have somebody come in and um, redo the bathroom in the back, so that would be have to add it on, be added on to the cost, so we'll have to um, put that on our list of possibilities. But see, here we are on the way home in my woodsy neighborhood, and I do love it here, so nothing has to be done, but what I wanna do is call about, there's two homes in my neighborhood for sale, which happens to be one that um, a good friend of mine grew up in, and then this one that they have really let run down, let me see if I can get you up here, is where I grew up, um, and you can just tell it. Like, there's a window unit hanging out the front and it's just not really been kept up. But um, mine on the other hand is in pristine form and I have fixed it up and it is beautiful and ready to go. There it is at the very end of the road. So, I don't know, it's just a matter of thinking. And knowing that, like, it can be exciting when you realize that that there's choices in your life, you know? Whether it's down to, you know, choices about your diet, your lifestyle, choices about people that you want to invite into your realm. Um, look at Ellie, she sees us. See you right there in the fence. But you know, just choices every day. And it's exciting when you feel like thinking about something, you know. I've cleaned out my building. Let me show you. Do y'all like this video of nothingness? <laughs> Let me show you how. I cleaned it out. There's nothing back here now. Because Christopher and I, we are streamlining everything. Let me show you. It locks just for looks. You see, I don't even have the key for it. You see, all there is, this is huge. Like, two cars could fit in the back of this. See, I don't need all this space. You see? All we have left is this. If anybody would like this glass door, it's for free. You can come get it and nothing's wrong with it. I just got a different one. And then I have this pool table that um, nothing's wrong with it either. It needs to be cleaned off. Somebody can have that too if any of y'all want it. And pretty much just, just nothing. Look, and my one yard tool, which is, is this blower that, I know what you're thinking, there's no handle, but if you hold it just right, you can still use it. So anyway, we're home. See y'all later, alligators.